Once more, after you created the legal entity for the very first time, there would be no number sequences. We have already verified it. We went to different modules, for the example, like general ledger, cash and bank management, and accounts receivable. There was no number sequences. You could create a number sequence manually. And the way you do it, you go to the number sequences form by clicking on the new button. You can specify a number sequence code. One thing you need to notice here is that this code, it will be referred to a different name by the time you are going to create the journal names. They will refer to this as a voucher series. So whenever you hear number sequence code or voucher series, they mean the same thing. Equivalent terminology would be as being a developer, like a definition of a parameter versus a variable. Really, if you really think about it, the parameter is something you pass and a variable is the value that it keeps changing. So number sequence assume is an object that generates numbers and it will pass it to another object yet to be a journal name. In future sessions, I will discuss journal names and you will about to see how we are using these number codes. I'll give a description here and I'd like to expand more information in regard to the detail of a scope and segments, which is very important because if you do this properly and correct, then your implementation will go very smoothly at the beginning. I save this. The first scope, as you can tell, is shared. Now, cosmetically, usually the segment should appear as alphanumeric. For whatever the reason in this demo VM that I have, it doesn't appear. So what I do, I play around with the drop down and I intentionally change it to a different value. It's supposed to show it, but I just wanted to prove the concept. As soon as I change the value, the alphanumeric will appear. This is on this VM. I can't speak on behalf of the RTM or R3 C8. So consider that it may not be the same on your VM. But I just wanted to tell you, anytime you're looking for a field and you cannot see it, just play around with certain values and then you could see it probably or save it or refresh it. That's typical in most forms because of caching issue. Usually the problem with the VMs that you're dealing with from partner source or customer source is that they have placed every single component on one box. Means domain controller, SharePoint, SQL Server, AX, AOS, everything's in one box. And there's a caching issue with it, especially when you create a snapshot and checkpoints. So... That's a good way in order to refresh to make sure everything's proper. So let's discuss shared. The topic of a shared means that this number sequence code can be used within the entire organization. Means all the legal entities and all the references of all the modules within those legal entities. Therefore, this number sequence may issue number two and three to one legal entity and four to five to another legal entity. So it carries forward. It shares its number value. Now, as you can tell, the first segment that Microsoft offers you is alphanumeric. And by default, they give you nine digits. The digits represents by providing a character called hash. So the hash represents values from zero to nine. Therefore, at the moment, the range of value starts from one, goes up to nine nines. So in this scenario, if I wanted to put also characters, since the field name of the segment indicates alphanumeric, I have to specify a new character setting. Prior to that, if I expand the general tab, you notice the range of values. Few things you need to be aware of is very important. 